Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and today, thanks to cutting edge advances, there are now better treatments and new tests that can determine the best way to tackle the disease. Area Restriff reports. Cutting edge research radically changing the way we treat breast cancer. There's so many things that are happening at breakneck speed for cancer and cancer treatment, and it's just about time that we finally did that for triple negative breast cancer. Around 15% of early breast cancers are triple negative, a type of cancer more common in black women under age 40. Dominique Valentine was diagnosed at age 27. My biggest worry, it wasn't losing my hair. It wasn't how it was gonna look. It was just surviving. I wanted to live. Triple negative is more aggressive and had fewer treatment options until now. We're seeing cancers go away. Doctors can eliminate tumors before surgery by harnessing the body's own immune system. New research finds the addition of immunotherapy called Keytruda to chemo resulted in better response in these patients before surgery, changing treatment guidelines. Chemo was nothing I was looking forward to. Another breakthrough has allowed women like Yola Prejean to skip chemo entirely. When the Texas native was diagnosed with early stage estrogen positive breast cancer last year, she worried the side effects of chemo would take her out of the game. I don't have time for this cancer stuff, you know. I said my grandson plays football, I got to get to that football game. <laughs> Luckily, because Yola's cancer was detected early, she was a candidate for a test called Oncotype DX, which used genetic analysis to predict that chemotherapy wouldn't help her beat cancer. We saw that estrogen was the main driving force for what caused her cancer to grow. Because of that, we were able to avoid chemotherapy and start hormonal therapy. The test newly released long-term data suggests that for around 80% of patients, the no chemo route works. Cancers don't return. This also helps in postmenopausal women whose estrogen positive breast cancer has spread to their lymph nodes. What we're learning now is that when estrogen is the driving force, even though a cancer may go to the lymph node, it still may just be estrogen that's driving that and she may not benefit from chemotherapy. 